That's only part of the story, the part that put Roy Earl back in circulation. But there's another kind of man at the wheel of this car. I wonder if anybody really knows him. How can you understand a guy hardened by a thousand crimes, thinking like a man with a pocket full of dreams? He could pin a hope on one girl's smile, then twist it to reality in another girl's arms. Tough enough to clobber the rough babies into line, yet a soft touch for a whimper of a friendless pup. Yes, a complex guy, reaching out for tomorrow with one hand, but shackled to yesterday with the other. never mean much of anything to me. Nothing special, that is. Do you understand? Do you? <laughs> Max spent a big wad springing you. You're working for him and for me. We'll call the tune, you dance to it. How dare you say things like that? You're just jealous and mean because I don't want you. Buckle, buckle. Does he speak English too? I see. Both. In Spanish and in English. I'm proud of your dog, huh? Oh, no, senor. But he's not my dog. He has what you say attached himself to me. Sometimes I have much worry because of that. When we get into the hotel, I don't want you to look up no matter what happens. It's my job. Nobody's gonna bother you. And I mean nobody. If you think I'm going to drag you around with me and get your shots, you're crazy. Roy Earl just passed High Bridge Road, still headed south, going after him. your last chance. 